All right, people? Right, going on then. Uh, last see you, when did I last see you? See you when I caught the last fish uh, in, in the winter time. I haven't done any fish. I've done, uh, I, I done one night, sort of like mid-January. It went from minus sevens to sixes to sort of like, it went up to minus two. Like a dickhead, I sort of saw that, oh, yeah, they'll be feeding. And I went, I, I come down here, I fished over there somewhere, put out about three kilo. Oh my God, it was, it was horrendous. I think, I think it dropped, it proper dropped, man. I was just sort of sat here thinking, fuck this. Like half four, it's pitch black. I'm just thinking, what the hell, shoot me, sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? It was really bang. So those that stuck it out, those that went in, in that cold spell, man, fair play, yeah, word up with that. You can catch me out there, I'll give it up. And then I had the show, yeah, so I had the show to do. Mickey, thanks very much for that. Giving me the heads up on the pre-tide rigs. Right, sold out, man. So I took, a, I took about 150 rigs pre-tied uh two different types hour and 20 minutes the whole fucking lot just went man just like boom mate mate he turned up right i had this video going behind me of all these rigs not working you'll check them out later yeah and uh he come out see what the fuck's going on man there's people everywhere just getting it's mad man it's wicked he said what's going on he said how many got left i said about four but he said i have the fucking lot man i said come on take a lot in my bed i said what am i gonna sell uh, so yeah, I kept a few back, but yeah, wicked. But highlighted of, of the show, Frank Warwick, man. <sighs> Can't get enough of the fella, real nice fella. I'd love to go fishing with him, sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? We'd, we spoke for about an hour. Didn't mention the rig, couldn't be asked to, do you know what I mean? So what? But yeah, really cool, man. We had some, some real good ideas. I was going to hit Frank, you know what? I've been working on it. He's going for <laughs> all like that. And he's going, fucking, I've been doing that. I said, go on, tell me one of yours. And he, he was telling me proper tips, man. And I was going, all right then. I said, that's worthy of another one. And I, I sort of gave him one, do you know what I mean? Me giving Frank Morris tips, you know what I mean? Fucking, whether he's listening or laughing, I don't mind, but man, had a good time. Uh, what happened then? So yeah, uh, come out of there. Uh, what have I done after the show? Still didn't, oh, I went down, oh yeah, before the show, right? I had a mad one, yeah? So I phoned up Paul from Swan, Swan Valley, yeah? He owns Swan Valley, good fishery, right? You can't knock it, it's fucking 50 pounds of swimming around in there now, I know. Right, so anyways, uh, I said to him, I sort of know him from old anyways, right? I said, Paul, I'm doing the show, yeah? I said, kill two birds with one stone here, right? You get me on Swanee, right? Free of charge, I said, I ain't got no cash. Uh, free of charge, I'll YouTube, the evidence of what happens and i'm going to the show i said i'll put up a big post don't you know what i mean swan valley all this swan valley that right and uh he said yeah go on in so i went down there fished the weekend uh booked in with him five nights right i said i'll do the sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday right i said but chance i'll only do the three nights right so uh gone down there seen uh me cousin in the car park i said all right jay i said anything's been out he said, he said, nothing. I said, you're joking, ain't you? He said, fuck all for like two months, man. This was like time ago, yeah? Freezing. And I was like in the car park, do you know what I mean? And I was like, fuck, man. I thought I'd just fucking bang down here. Any other time I would have banged down here, yeah, right? But then he had Bayless turned up, right? He says, are you the one from the show? I said, I said, yeah, why? He said, oh, uh, he said, uh, blah, blah, blah. He said, uh, you've got a new rig on you or something. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, he said, oh, Ian Russell's coming down here uh, tomorrow night. I said, oh, is he? Thinking, yeah, well, yeah, well, why, why? And then he said, Steve Reynard's coming down here as well, right? On the Sunday morning or, the, or whenever, right? So I'm thinking, fucking hell. Now, I don't really dig names and all that sort of shit, but fucking hell, man. Two names like that. Ian Russell, I know anyways, yeah. I met him at the last show, Pucker fella, right? He liked the rig. He said, you've got something there, mate. He patted me on the back, I remember. He, I'd met him coming out, out the toilets, yeah. I said, Ian Russell, innit? He said, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I said, do me a favour. I said, don't mean to fucking do your head in. I said, come and have a look at my rig with me from, uh, for me. Just see what you think, please. I said, just five minutes. Just see what you think of it, mate. Right? And uh, he turned up. I was next to Rowley, yeah. Owns Winton's in uh, uh, France. And uh, I see him talking to thingy, yeah. But... Uh, I just had so many people around, yeah, he couldn't stick about, yeah. So he's turned up Sunday morning. He said, mate, he said, I tried coming and have a look. I said, I'll see you, man. I said, I, I said, I'll see you waiting on the, in, in, on the wings line. 
He said, I couldn't get in. He was so fucking busy. I said, what a thing to say, do you know what I mean? I was like buzzing out, did you get me? So that's how I know him, right? I don't know the fella. So anyways, I thought, fucking hell, it would be nice. So I thought, bollocks, I'm here now. Fished it, yeah? And I tell you what, it was the first time in my life where I'd gone fishing and didn't really want to. It's mad, right? I sort of didn't really want to do it. Do you know what I mean? It was only because it might have benefited me. It was an awful feeling. I didn't feel like I was in, I was involved with the lake or connected with the lake or anything, you know? But anyway, he's come down, Ian Russell. The Ed Bayless come over, right? Uh, fishes all the time, loves it, yeah? He said, uh, he said, what, me? He said, look, Nick, what's this rig done? And I, I said, uh, I said, here. Yeah. And I pulled out one of the pre-tides. I pulled out one of the bangers, one of the little rotators. I said, yeah, are we thinking that? He said, what do I think of that? He said, I think I'm going to use it tonight, man. <laughs> I was like, sick. I said, yeah. So I gave him five, yeah. Russell's come round in the morning, yeah. We're having a nice chat, yeah. Right? He's, he's asked me about how the rig's going and all that and whatever. And he said, you do know if you get a fucking tape now. He said, I'll, I'll film it, yeah. And you'll get like 40,000 hits through me. I'm like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, you... Of all the times I needed a fish, but it didn't materialise. Nothing happened. So we said our oh, goodbyes. I gave the bailiff fella five rigs. I said, show them to uh, Stephen, just to see what he thinks. I don't, I don't know where it's going with that, showing these people. I, I don't know. They can't say anything, can they? They're all fucking wrapped up with their shit. So yeah, man, so fucking, uh, yeah, so I come down here the other night uh, in this wind. Nice wind pumping in, still haven't used a pop-up. Can't bring myself to use a pop-up, I really can't. I'm just so in touch with fucking the bottom bait thing that's just working. Have three fish out, man, and a bream. So I'm on four fish now, one night. Apart from that crap night, I ain't including that, that was stupid. So yeah, one night, four fish. Four rig thingy jibs. And uh, yeah, sort of happy days there, really. So that's where I'm at at the moment. Uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for one of these to tear off. The speedboat's got gone in now, happy days. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I got banned from, honestly, this rig, this rig, and it, and some people really sort of like fucking freaking me out a little bit, yeah? It's all like, I got banned from a, a Facebook thing, do you know? Uh, carp fishing, rigs, tips, and tactics. Right, rigs, can't fish in, rigs, tips and tactics. Now I put on a video, right, I put on a video of me can't fish in, yeah, with a new rig, yeah, with a tactic, yeah, and a tip. How the fuck do I get removed from the site and there's a personal message, right, fucking personal message a half wit, saying fucking, uh, don't stop spamming my site. Stop spamming your site. I want to be a fucking part of your site, half with Nothing to do with your site. But how'd you get banned from that? And it, and, it, and it said, with your shit rig. Fuck you. How about that? Ban your shit, half with So yeah, that annoyed me. But then Lewis Reed, Lewis Reed, uh, the mechanics of this rig are amazing. Yeah, Frank Warwick, fucking mate, that is, that's stunning, yeah. Ali Hamidi, four packs of 18, yeah, posted. Don't worry about it, keep it, get me. I've, and, but that half, it's really annoying. I'm gonna leave it alone, man. It's only an item, it's, you know, it's an item, man. It's not, ain't nothing personal, you wetty. Yeah, so uh, three fish, got my bait, got my bait, you can see that, proper mank, so it all went white and shitty, poured a load of salmon oil in it, got my fucking maple nut ones on the top, I'm on a full on bottom bait, stepped up to a bigger rook just on this one rod, that's a size four I believe, so I'm just going to bang that out tonight and see what happens, innit? So, uh, so yeah, man, so I'm selling them all on eBay now, yeah, all pre-tied, happy days, and they're all, all going sick, man. It's pretty cool, man. I get some nice, nice messages as well, some personal nice messages. Pre I really appreciate that. Honestly. Oh, 
witty, isn't he? Frank Worry. Frank Worry's sick, man. I love Frank Worry. He's cool. Love this place as well. Fucking stuff. Nice in here. Just starting to wake up, like, you know? A few fish rolling about. You don't normally get a lot of rollers around here. Them trees are the uh, the Japanese larches. Them big shallow ones, them, them lot of four, they're stunning. Yeah, so I'm just gonna stay down here, right, with my deal with Paul as a business. Think about it, as a business, I should be at Swan Valley, shouldn't I? Yeah, who, who wouldn't be there, do you know what I mean? Idiot, really, it's 50 pounds in there, I could get me in, in all the magazines. I could get more publicity, I could get everything, you know. I could be meeting Ian Russell, he's got the lake uh, for a week. Just go down and say hello again, do you know what I mean? But I'm in love with this place, man. This is where I feel better. And there's something special in here now. I'll show you it when I get it, and I will get it, I tell you. I'm going for that. It's, uh, I think it's nine pound. <coughs> Yeah, it's a nine pound fish. Can you believe that? I'm turning down fifties. Like the other night, when I caught, like, it's changed my fishing now, yeah? When I caught them fish the other night, I had a stocky, yeah? And it gave that sort of like, initial stocky sort of fight, you know, I knew it, I knew it weren't a 30, I knew it weren't a fucking 25 even. So I'm playing it in here, but my heart was going right because that's the size of the one I want. It's only like eight, nine pounds. You want to see it. Yeah. You want to see this, honestly. Life-changing fish. Eight or nine pounds, I can't believe I'm saying it. But that's the truth. So I've got a rig set there. Oh, and oh yeah, another thing, right? Just quickly, because I'm going to hashtag it, Trick Link Gardener, right? At the show, just at the show, yeah, I, uh, the first day, yeah, I fucking sold out, right? And I'm banging them all out on Trick Link, yeah, I love it, yeah? Any pop-up bait rig will be on that, yeah, with a black boom. If it's boom, it's, it'll be amnesia. Black amnesia, you can't beat it, 25 pounds, lovely. But the thing would be on that. Anyway, yeah, Gardner were all across the road from me. And uh, I'd sold out of that shit. Um, well, I'd sold out all my rigs, yeah. And uh, so I went over there, I said, here, I said, do us a favour, mate. Uh, if you went to the show, he was the fellow with a quiff. Nice fellow, yeah. Thanks for what you did. I said, here, uh, I said, can I have some free stuff? He says, why? <laughs> I says, I've been, I've been plugging the hell out of your shit over there. I said, I've, or I've, I said, I've sold out and I'm recommending your stuff. I said, surely. He said, what is it? So he's come over and he's had a look. I liked it, man. Yeah, yeah, wicked. He said, oh, ooh. he said, very nice. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, you got the painting on this? I said, yeah, why? He said, oh, I don't know. He said, but have you got it? I said, yeah, 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 of course I have. And uh, anyway, he said, yeah, he said, yeah, cool, man. He said, go and help yourself. He said, help yourself, right? I said, I don't want to take the piss, I pay for it. I said, I don't want it for free. Oh, I sort of do. So I've gone over there, right? And uh, he's buggered off here, right? So I said, all right, mate, uh, he'd give me someone else. So I've, I've asked for free, lots of trick link, yeah, black, silk, pucker. I said, here, yeah, because I like the end trap, yeah, right? And I thought, well, fuck it, if I'm getting something free, I'll get a load of stuff, right? I said, here, yeah, what's your sort of like strongest um, strippable? hook link material and he said the ultra skin i said oh yeah i said mm, why go there <laughs> do you know what i mean fishing for him to say do you want some anyway he did he said do you want some i said oh yes please i said what colors are they coming he said gravel silk and gray and green i said yes sweet please fucking things that i've been doing my little afternoon man proper wacky that's the green right it's quite nice don't really like the colour of it, if I'm going to be honest, right? It's medium, right? But it gave me the black silk, which I was really keen. I like using the black one. And look at it. Look at that. 
That is unusable. I cannot tie a rig with that. I've tried them all. I've tried every rig combination and exactly the same. I was keen, look at that for a color. That's the brown. Look at it. It is shocking. It is absolutely shocking. Even steamed. I don't want a steamed one. Do you know what I mean? I don't want a, I don't want a soft hook link that I've got a steam on the bank. I'm after something that's just so simple. So I'm going that all the way now. Once I've used up all of this. So my point was right, because he gave me a load of free shit. He said, would you hashtag gardener? And I said, yeah, of course I will. Do you know what I mean? Because I am using it, but I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna hashtag gardener because it ain't worthy of that because they're selling that shit, right? So I will hashtag trick link. Yeah, I'll give that a big thumbs up. But I ain't hashtag gardener. And I'll hashtag that. That in a silk is fucker. Silk colour. It sort of changed the coating from last year, but I still recommend that on adrenaline number six. Right, anyway, brothers, anyway, peace out, right? I'm out of here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have something to eat, I think. I'm gonna put a little bit more bait out. I put out about a kilo and a half. I put out about three kilo the other night when I had the free fish. I had them at three in the morning, four o'clock in the morning. I had a brace at four o'clock, and then I had a bream at about quarter to five, and I was home for about half five. And same tonight, I'll be leaving at half five in the morning again and it's getting a bit colder tonight. Minus one, I think they said, or ones, or twos or whatever. Yeah, so I'll, I'll keep you posted on that. And uh, yeah, man, I'll get rocking down there. I can't wait to show you that fish. You are gonna love it. And I'm gonna be honored to show it to you. Honestly, you wait to see this thing. Fucking hell, man. Drop your jaw off, man. At 10 pounds, ridiculous. Anyway. Oh, that right hand had just twitched. Right, so I've scattered the baits out, yeah? So I've scattered the bait out everywhere, right? I've got one over there near the roadies, yeah, right? I've put more bait underneath them fucking silver things. That's a basketball net thing. The speedboat, when it come out, it come in here, reversed out and booted off. That's where that left hander is. It's about halfway where the speedboat churned it up. And I've put out about two kilo all around here. Now there you go, liner. So I've just had a nice little liner. Indication of the fish. I ain't turned the alarm on that one yet. But it's a good way to do it. Now I know there's fish in here. Even if it's a bream, so a, a lot of the time the bream would be fucking with the uh, carp, I tell you. You get a bream, you're on the fish, man, I'm telling you. Let's see a little bit. Of yeah, man, so anyway, right, here's the fish from the other night, anyways, right? Yeah, and uh, I'll smell you later. Hopefully, I'll have some more for, the, uh, for you tomorrow. Peace out, yeah? Smell it. It's like Christmas morning. Let's do the little one first. Do the little one first, Kelly. Little stocky. Nice. Oh, she's freezing. Nice little fish. Yeah. Got half hour left for us to go. Nice, nice touch, man. Had a cracking session. Three fish, third fish. Let's have a nice welcome back. Yeah, what was that? Lovely. Welcome back, Gil. <laughs> 